Today on the weekly tea, we're going to talk about the full ghost line now in stock at Tea Nutrition. So we're going to have a bit more of a relaxed approach on our YouTube and have a little chat about our personal preferences around about the products. Give you a full rundown on the ingredients, what ingredients are in there, what doses are in there, um, comparable to other ingredients that you may know and products that you may know, and basically give our bit of a, of a personal touch on what we feel about the ingredients products and how we felt taking them so do you know pick a product and we'll go for it okay. together you've got ghost size and just Nino. randomly we'll, pick one okay so now we have ghost size so ghost size is their creatine slash size formula that i don't i can't really i don't call this a creatine formula because it's got more ingredients no, it's, outside it's, of it's creatine. more than just creatine it is a size formula you can't it's named absolutely correctly so the two first two ingredients are creatine monohydrate creatine hydrochloride the only difference in this is it gives you your actual yielded creatine so when you have 3.21 grams of creatine monohydrate that yields 2.5 grams of actual creatine see the monohydrate is the bond and the same with hydrochloride yeah. you've got 2.84 grams of hydrochloride giving you 2.5 grams of yielded creatine so when you get five grams of creatine monohydrate, that's not you're giving not you five grams of creatine. percent of creatine. Yeah, so with this one, you are, you're getting more, and it's giving you your actual yield of five grams of yielded creatine. But we know hydrochloride is significantly stronger benefit than um, monohydrate. The good thing about the... Gram for gram. Yeah, not only that, but it also saturates faster. So by the time, you know, by the time, say... You if you just started taking creatine, it takes about two weeks to full saturation. But because of the hydrochloride in that, it's gonna kick in faster. And yeah. then once that happens, then the monohydrate's gonna carry on the saturation levels beyond. That. I find you get less um, less gastric distress as well. Yeah, it's so easier you, on the stomach. Yeah, it's easier on the stomach, so you won't feel any bloating or anything like that. Well, let's address the water issue with creatine. I don't think creatine's ever gonna get away from it. No. You won't retain water outside of muscle cells. It's so intramuscular it's, yeah. water retention. That's the way creatine So it's going to works. cause hyperhydration. You can only yeah. store water in two parts, either your fat or in your muscle. Yeah. Creatine will draw water intracellularly inside your muscles, give you a fill, fuller, bigger pump, but also hyperhydrated as well. The only time people are going to complain about that is when they're misusing creatine. They'll be doing 10, 15, 20 grams of creatine a day, thinking, you know... That's what they recommend for the loading. The loading phase. I'll carry on the loading phase because maybe I'm getting more benefit by taking more. No, you're not. There's a <coughs> limit on how much you need. Once you're fully saturated, you don't need more than three to five grams, and the dosage in ergo size is a perfect amount. And because of the creatine hydrochloride in there, you don't need the loading phase. Yeah. So you just carry on taking one serving a day, and then you know within a week you'll start noticing strength gains. Right. So you get your creatine, then you're going to get your uh, betaine, so trimethylglycine. Betaine and high just give in a clinical study in four weeks with people who had an average training time of 4.8 years, um, over 5.3 pound increase in muscle mass and a f 6 pound four, um, 6 .4 pound, sorry, yeah. uh, decrease in fat Very mass. Very absolutely. I think it's getting a bit more like now. 2.5 grams is the clinical dosing yeah. of which you are getting a ghost as well so that's why it's not just a creatine product it's a lot more because you're going to get that it works through converting homocysteine into cysteine but it works also synergistically with creatine yeah by helping your body create its own so them two ingredients are are I think for a size, power, strength formula are the core of any yeah definitely um, you're seeing red con, red con tango Beating and creating not only well. that not to, just to touch upon the whole strength aspect and it's like don't want to stay people away but this is also great for the endurance aspect because the next ingredient which we're going to talk about now which is the carnosine pattern beta alanine which uh, buffers H plus ions is it H plus or H yeah. minus H plus ions so basically that kind of buff sort of buffers your lactic acid so it increases the threshold the amount of volume you can do which is great for cyclists um, marathon runners, any, any, endurance. any endurance athletes. So it's not just for the strength athlete. It's great as you know for an endurance athlete for people who do CrossFit. 
So basically it's going to delay the onset of the burn and it's going to get rid of that burn and buffer the lactic acid which causes that burn out faster. So you're going to be able to recover faster, go for longer and have better endurance from the beta alanine. That's a 2 grams. That's the ingredient you find from pre-workouts that does make your face tingle a little bit. Yeah. But that's up at higher, higher doses, around about 3.2 grams to 4 grams. 2 grams in here. I don't, you don't get much of that tingling aspect, yeah. so it will be okay. After the, next, the first couple of savings, that's going to go away yeah, anyway. Do. That only happens because it excites all your nerve cells, your neurons, so they fire off rapidly. So because they're firing off rapidly, that's what the pins and needles tingles is. But after about four or five savings, your body will get accustomed to that. So, that will, you know, so if you do get the tingles from beta alanine in the future, no matter what dosage you're doing, just be aware after, after about a week they're gonna go away. Um, epicatogen is the next ingredient. Epicatogen is a muscle building ingredient by decreasing the amount of myostatin it has with myostatin are set cells that control muscle growth. When you can, but they are high, you control muscle growth, slow muscle growth down. Obviously with a decrease of that, you have a more of an ability to grow more muscle, faster muscle and yeah. bigger muscle as well. Um, epicatogen does that through increasing a thing called folostatin. So when you increase folostatin, myo myostatin decreases. Um, it also lowers cholesterol, improves blood flow, improves nitric oxide. So that, along with the increased endurance of beta alanine, which will allow you to get more pump, along with the two types of osmosis ingredients, which draw water into your muscle, creatine and beating, give you an unbelievable pump inside here. And then it's topped off with 50 milligrams of estrogen. Estrogen is going to increase the absorption of all of these into your intestines. Um, Epicatrin being the main one because epicatrin is quite poorly absorbed by the body. So, yeah. that by overall, phenomenal, phenomenal ingredient profile and phenomenal product that comes in two flavours. You've got neutral, which I'm holding, and sour warheads watermelon. Warheads, is that. I do, I'm not familiar with warheads. Is it's, it a, it's an American brand. The closest you can relate to is over here. Have you ever had Gobstoppers? No. It's like not. sour, mouthy, or nerd sweets. It's a very. It's very very acidic kind of taste but not like it's one of them things where it just makes your saliva glands go oh really and it's it just it but it's a nice feeling it's a nice acidic it's a like um like sour serpent yeah so it's a taste we'll quickly pass on to the way the way is nice and easy the nicest tasting way i've ever had by a country mile it does have some specific on it so you'll be able to see or you, you won't be able to see what we can see when you get the tub here It'll give you the actual, like with creatine, not 100% of whey protein yields 100% of actual protein. So it gives you the actual breakdown, which is the first of tea nutrition to do this. Whey protein isolate it gives you 14.53 grams of whey protein isolate, which yields 12.5 grams of actual protein. Then you've got whey protein concentrate, 13.16 grams, which gives you 10 grams of yielded uh, protein from whey protein concentrate and then hydrostolate you got 2.98 grams of that yielding 2.5 grams of actual protein so when it says 25 grams of protein on here you get 25 grams of actual yielded protein you're getting a lot more actual whey um which yields a lesser amount so that's absolutely they've perfect. gone so in depth as well that even if you check on the peanut butter flavor it does say one gram yields from peanut butter um, flour yeah so rather than just you know do like a blanket across the labels each flavor is you unique to the propriety breakdown so it does actually say, tell you exactly what you're getting in the top above all of that the absolute tastes are cereal milk you've got peanut amazing. butter cereal milk which is phenomenal Absolutely you've got amazing. milk chocolate and you've got coffee ice cream which and i think i've had them all Unbelievable. Yeah, if, if there's ever a protein you can get addicted to drinking where you want to enjoy it and not just take up your protein intake. He doesn't like cereal milk. It's cereal milk by far. It's absolutely far. insane. Right, um, I want to go for the vicious, vicious, and that's the only really word I can use for it, pump from Ghost um, Pre-Workout. So let me give you a little breakdown. Four grams of citrulline is going to increase nitric oxide. Arginine nitrate at 2.5 grams is the highest dosed arginine nitrate. Highest dose nitrate, nitrate actually yielded product yeah. I think I've ever seen. Nitrates are going to lower oxygen costs, so lower the amount of oxygen your muscles need to perform the exercise. It's going to increase oxygen ability for oxygen utilization. It's going to increase nitric oxide. It's going to increase 
um, nutrient utilization. It's going to lower blood pressure. It's it also the arginine nitrate stops your body getting nitrate tolerance. So you're going to have the arginine having that benefit as well. Yeah. 2.5 grams of that, the nitric oxide is going to be absolutely insane. I think we can both agree on that. You've got so many health benefits by taking the arginine nitrate. It's I mean, absolutely insane. It's like you just touched upon there. It's not just for the gym goer. I mean, you could take this long term and also look after your health because you're going to decrease your blood pressure issues. And like, you increase nitric oxide, that regulates your entire body. Because I don't forget, if your if vessel, you know, dilating, you're yeah. increasing of nutrients delivery throughout your entire body. Nitrates will actually alter red blood cell structure to give it more of a dip so it can actually carry more carry hemoglobin. More, yeah. So carry more oxygen, carry more nutrients, carry more everything in, that you need to the muscles while you're working so, out. So absolute phenomenal You're making performance more nutrient delivery system more efficient in your It's body. absolutely crazy. I don't think you could ask for anything more from that, uh, that dose as well. It's insane. Then you've got two grams of taurine. Taurine's going to be an osmosis um, ingredient, so it's going to withdraw water into your muscle, increase full muscle force production and cellular hydration. And you're going to get that from a 1.5 gram of glycer pump as well, yeah. which is a different type of hydromax. Not, it's not hydromax, different type of glycerol, which is treated in a um, lipid form to make sure there's no clumping. Yeah. If you've ever had a product before with glycerol monostarating or um, hydromax. Yeah. AD nitrox, for example, Clumps up. you can tip it upside down, yeah. nothing will come out. Um, Norvaline is one of the key, key, key ingredients in this. Absolutely key ingredients. If you've got a limit of your body, well, your body will secrete an enzyme which will limit nitric oxide. When you limit nitric oxide, no matter how much nit nitric oxide you have, you're going to have this limit. So it's going to limit the amount of pump you have. Yeah. Norvaline is a um, derivative of valine that is an enzyme inhibitor. So it stops that wall so nitric oxide can keep on increasing, yeah. keep There's on no increasing. More glassy, no? And give you a better, better, clearer, longer lasting pump as well, which is insane. Pine bark's been shown in studies to increase blood plasma levels of nitric oxide, improving blood flow. So it's going to be like a supercharged ingredient for the, all the other ingredients in there as well. Yeah. And then you've got estrogen again, 50 which MGs. alone, 50 milligrams, is going to increase the absorption of citrulline by 45% by itself. Then you've got the absorption of all the other ingredients, making it a really, really good utilised um, ingredient. It's just all the ingredients very, very come together and very they strong. work synergistically. It's insane. Absolutely amazing formula. I absolutely love that. This is also um, weighted the number one pump product now. On uh, stack. On stack, yep. yeah. Deservedly so. We'll go on to Legend then, nice and quick. Um, that comes in lemon lime flavour. Um, that comparing this with this, comparing this with this. Is that right? <laughs> I messed it up. Right. Comparing pump with Legend, you're going to double the amount of citrulline, so you got an extra four grams of citrulline. You're going to have an extra um, two grams of beta arnine. So imagine that as a stack right there would be insane. Um, You've got 750 milligram nitrogen, which is going to increase the nitric oxide even further. With the Norvaline, it's going to have no glass sealing on that. You've got an extra gram of taurine, giving it three grams of taurine, which would be the highest in any pre-workout that we've got right now. You've got, I think actually, I don't know whether my Blocks Loco's got two or three. Of what taurine? Um, yeah. I know, I know it's lit Cinco, it's got another one, but I'm just uh, thinking about the normal one. Yeah. 250 milligram of caffeine, 100 milligram of neurofactor, which can increase brain derived um, neurofactor by 148%, which actually regenerates neurons as well. Constant new research coming out on neurofactor. Neurofactor is well. insane, Absolutely. it's brain health, it's amazing, yeah. and, and focus. Theta Bromine is giving you a structured like caffeine hit but a lot smoother, a little less of a hit than caffeine, but a lot yeah, longer and smoother. Feel bro mine is what gives you that happy feeling when yeah. you're eating chocolate. So if you kind of think of that like, nice little happy little boys you're getting, that's what you're going to get with it. Like, and um, olive leaf extract actually can increase thyroid output, so it can make that as a fat burning ingredient. Yeah, Them three combined are insane. Yeah. Performance, performance size, stimulant for performance, all them three together as a stack would be Yeah. The great the, thing is as well, because ridiculous. if you find stacking them may be a bit too much with the legend on the pump, pump is a two scoop saving. Um so you can actually use only one scoop. So you can do half the saving of pump. 
and a full serving of legend and you'll still get com- in combination a good clinical dosage yeah. of um citrine ghost amina and nitrosagene complex formula you've got your bcaas i'm thankful it's got five grams of bcaas 2.5 grams of leucine i probably would have liked that a three yeah but 2.5 technically is okay you've got your essentials in there as well so you've got all your essential amino acids um and then you get an ad- added gram of citrulline, so that's going to increase pump. Then your smart hydration blend, will it's got 500 mg of raw organic coconut powder, which yeah. is a really good ingredient for minerals. It's got and alpha GPC in Alpha GPC is 150 gram, milligrams, so that's going to be a 50% yield, so it's going to actually give you a bit of cognitive function, yeah. bit of kick. You've got 5 HCP at 50 milligrams, which is going to increase serotonin, which is our feel-good hormone. And then you've got sodium, calcium, and you've got potassium in there as well as so your hydration blend. So you're going to get hydrated, you're going to get pumped, you're going to get more focused, you're going to feel better, yeah. and you get your full blend this of essentials. This to me is what all the amino products try to be when they include energy, aminos energy, by, because they want to increase the focus by putting in caffeine, but how is that going to work yeah. when you're trying to increase hydration? So Normal when I see an energy see. product, it means you just got 100 milligrams of caffeine in it yeah. really. It doesn't really contribute anything to no. me personally. Um, you've got Ghost BCAA, very simple and basic yet effective formula. Three grams of leucine is where, where, where I like the three grams, I would have liked to have seen that in yeah. amino. You've got 1.5 grams of isoleucine, 1.5 grams of valine, giving you a six gram yield. And then you've got 25 milligrams of estrogen, which is shown to increase the absorption of leucine by 58% percent so you combine that with any of the other products will increase the absorption notice anytime we've said estrogen in the pump the size and the amine the bcaa that's going to increase the absorption of any other product you're taking whether it's ghost or not it's going to increase the absorption of all amino acids and things like that yeah, actually so decrease inflammation time, it doesn't just relate to just that or one product it does increase the absorption of everything that you're taking during. so You've got three products. I'm putting it on you now. Three products that I've always spoken about. What do you pick? Ooh. See, mine's a toss up between size and pump. You've got three. You can pick them both if you want. Okay, right. I've got two, three products. Three products out of this line. Okay, size. Size. Because, Why? again, creatine. Most studied ingredients in the industry. And you've got follistatin, in there, follistatin increase in there from the epic hydrogen. You've got pump, which I like the health benefits. So do you go for pump? Yeah, pump. And it, you've got to have a protein. You need that protein to build muscle. That would be your stack. That would be my stack. I don't think I would argue would that you? whatsoever. Mm-hmm. What flavour would you go for? Protein? Oh, it's got to be cereal milk. Cereal milk, yeah. yeah we're pretty, I wanted to disagree on you there, but to, to have some form of debate. <laughs> But size, pump, and protein is absolutely everything you need. You've it's got like, your recovery, you've got your endurance. How often can you say a brand has brought out a protein that tastes like nothing else on the market? Yeah. You can bring out yeah, vanillas, you can bring out your raspberries, yeah. you can bring out whatever. It's always going to be another brand that tastes so similar. And just try and think of a flavour that everyone likes to drink and everyone does it. Yeah. It's cereal milk. Um, uh, but... The only question I've been getting is, what cereal milk? What cereal? I don't know, I'm going to have to get an answer off the owner. It tastes, it, I, but it does taste like cereal. You, you drink it like, like that, you could name yeah. it. If I could give you a blank tub and you, you made it and you'd be like, right, that tastes like cereal milk, but I don't know it how to explain it. depends on the cereal. To me, it's like if you have a bowl of Cheerios and you've got that leftover milk. Like the sugary milk. Yeah, the sugary milk and you're drinking it out of the bowl and it's like, oh, It's exactly it's that. So I know nice. exactly what you mean, it's but I can't vanilla. explain it. It's not vanilla. It's not, you know, I don't know. You can't describe it. It's, yeah. it's its own unique taste. 100%. We do have an offer on at Team Nutrition right now, which is three ghost products you get 10% off and you get a free shaker. You can get that at teenutrition.com or you come see me in store and come and get it and let me help you build your stack. Anytime, and I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned some um, information and some benefits out of this. If you do have any more information or any more questions you want to know about any of these products or anything we've spoke about today, then do pop us a message on our social media. But make sure you have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.